Got to do it, got to do it again What's love? It's about us, it's about us, baby What's love? Got to do it, got to do it again What's love? It should be about us, it should be about us, It's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. All right, y'all, I am super excited about today's video because I'm trying a totally different wig line. So today, I have the new wig line by Trendy K called Slay With K. So if you don't know who Trendy K is, she is a YouTuber who has a very large platform and she's been doing wig reviews for God knows how long. I found her in 2015, so that was what, four years ago? I'm sure she's been doing it beyond that. And she was actually one of the first people I watched when I started watching hair reviews, and she quickly became one of my favorites. And due to the fact that she literally slays every wig she touches. I can't remember the last time I saw a wig that I didn't like on her. So that's almost scary. <laughs> but she does an excellent job when it comes to wigs and I just really admire her work. And when I hit her up one-on-one, -on -one, she was very pleasant. So I love supporting black businesses. So when she said that she was relaunching her wig line from a year ago, I was like, oh, okay, let's see what this is about. When I saw the wig she was coming out with, I was super excited and I was like, oh, I'm definitely snatching one up. So we are going to unbox this bad boy together and we're gonna see what Slay With K is all about. By the way, if you want to know the details of the wig that I'm wearing right now, the link to that will be in the description box and you can check the cards up above as well as check it out on the end screen. Okay, back to Slay with K. So when you open the packaging, you'll see a mirror and a brush for your edges, which is hard bristles. And that's really great because I've been needing one of those. Also, this color. This color is gorgeous has a dark root at the top, pumpkin spice orange, and then it blends into this really nice peach color. So I'm really feeling that. The cap construction is a little different. The two combs are actually in the center of the head with the comb in the back and adjustable straps. This cap is very stretchy, very roomy, and there's a lot of parting space. 13 by seven versus your normal 13 by six or 13 by four. Also, the hairline is pretty good, but it does need some tweezing. This color, yes. All right, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so I am back. Got the wig right here. Woo, this color is on fire, oh my God. So here I'm just adding the got to be glue to the perimeter of my hairline, all around there, and I let it dry, and then I put the wig on, adhere it, secure it. I didn't use any of the combs except the one in the back. And then I just start pressing down after that. I also did spray in between here my got to be glue spray. And I'm just trying to secure this frontal with my pick. <laughs> but I was having a hard time, so I had to do the rest off camera. All right, YouTube fam, I am back. I styled the wig off camera just because I was having problems laying the frontal. I'm still learning y'all, so bear with me. I think I got it to where I like it. So let's get into the pros of this wig. First pro of this wig is this awesome, awesome color. I haven't had a wig this color before. It's supposed to be basically kind of like an orange ombre, and I'll get a little closer. You'll see it's like a pumpkin spice color at the top, and then there's a true like deeper orange here in the center. And then it cascades out into this gorgeous peach color. Oh my God, I've never seen anything colored like this on a synthetic wig, ever. This is on some human hair shit, to be honest. And do you see how this is this is dark root at the top? Look, look at this. First of all, it, it is dark root throughout the entire wig. And the way it ombres out so perfectly. Me personally, I don't like when there's such a harsh line between like 
the number two at top and then the color in the middle or at the bottom. So I think, you know, Kay did a really good job making sure that they actually blend the dark color into the orange. Look at that, look at that blending, yes. Oh my gosh. The color alone gets a 10 out of 10, straight up. Another props this unit is the parting area. Now, I know we're used to like, maybe a 13 by four or 13 by six parting space, but this wig is supposed to be 13 by seven. And I must say, Kay stood true to that. Let me show you. This definitely goes back. Oh Lord. And goes back. Like it, it's going back, like it goes back. The track doesn't start to right here, y'all. Right here. Can you believe that? Oh, I look crazy. <laughs> and you know how with wigs that have the 13 by six or four parting area, it'll say it's 13 across and six back, but it's only six inches back in the middle and then the sides be like two inches, but nah. They gave us seven, like mostly across holes here. Look at these sides. You get so much parting space, even at the sides, even at the furthest point over here. Look at that, look at that parting space. On the other side. What synthetic wig company gives you that much parting space on the side? If you wanna do a deep side part, honey, you could do it, okay? Look at me. Look how deep that is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, 13 by seven. Yo. I swear, Kay did her thing with this parting space. Like hands down, that also gets a 10 out of 10. Another pro to this wig would definitely be the density. It's full, y'all. She didn't skimp on anything. No tracks are showing. When I brush it down, I just, I just feel the hair and that's it. I would say this density is probably close to like a 170, 180. It's not all the way coarse, but it's not like all the way silky either. So light yak in the texture. Another great pro to this unit is that it's big head friendly. When I say big head friendly, y'all, when I put this thing on, it slipped off my head. I have a medium sized head. I have to use the adjustable straps often and I definitely adjusted mine with this. But that's fine because that means it's going to accommodate a lot of different heads. I think anybody could wear this wig. Like, you could have a chrome dome. You could wear this wig. Okay, so we went over the color, the parting space, density, texture. Another pro to this wig is the style. I think this is such a classic, trendy K style, so I can see why this is a part of her relaunch. This whole body wave with the barrel curls coming down here into like little ringlets and the little bang right here. Actually, let me cut it a little bit. Yes. Another pro to this wig for me is that the lace is dark. So it made it easy to blend into my skin. I still had to apply my foundation and some pressed powder. And again, like I said, I am not a professional when it comes to laying the frontal. I'm still learning. I didn't put any baby hairs, but I just wanted y'all to see what it looked like fresh on. But I, um, I think it blends really well, especially if you have darker skin like I do. Another pro would definitely be the hairline. It is definitely like a round, bowl type of hairline, so it could use some tweezing to make it look more natural, but it's good because that just leaves it up to the buyer to customize it to the way they see fit. So I don't mind that. I didn't lay this all the way around. Like this side is blending in pretty nicely. This side, I didn't lay that down. But yeah, y'all, I have so many good things to say about this wig. As far as cons, the only con I would say, and I wouldn't say con, more so, a suggestion. So for those who are new to synthetic wigs, just know that they tangle. At some point or another, they tangle. When you have a synthetic wig this long and it's colored, it's even more susceptible to tangling. Even as I was styling this, 
I noticed I was getting a few snags. I was coming down here. It wasn't like a clean um, flow through the hair as I pulled my fingers through it, like I'm getting tangled right here. But that's what these type of wigs do. I'm really tired of seeing people complain about synthetic wigs and the tangling when that is what synthetic wigs eventually do, especially when they're long. If you have something that's short like a bob, you're probably not gonna get any tangling, but you have something long like this, and these curls, they're just wrapping themselves into each other. Yeah, it's gonna tangle. However, I don't mind. Maybe Kay could release like a human hair mix um, for a wig in this style. Maybe that would increase the longe longevity of the wig. I don't know, just a suggestion. I feel like, honestly, Trendy K did an excellent job with this relaunch. The quality of this wig is seriously a 10 out of 10. You have all this freaking parting space. You have this gorgeous ombre color. You have this super cute style. She did awesome with this. And I'm really, really happy that she decided to come back out with her wig line because I knew she'd do a good job. This wig retails a little higher than other synthetic wigs. It retails for $80. I was definitely one of the people who said I wouldn't pay over a certain amount for a synthetic wig, like over $60. I'm like, nah. But you know what? I support black business as much as I can. And I know that K needs to make a profit. So I understand that her wigs are gonna be at a higher price point compared to wigs that you see on wig type, Sam's Beauty, Glamour Trust, Diva Trust, Hair to Beauty, the list goes on. It's going to be higher. For those who may feel like, oh, it's too expensive, I mean, you're kind of comparing apples to oranges a little bit. K is just relaunching versus a wig company that has maybe a factory, several factories. They have a lot of backing where they can sell things at a cheaper price point. You know what I mean? That's just the business side of things, y'all. Oh, well, I'm really happy with this rollout. I will definitely purchase another one. Now, again, this wig is super long and it's going to tangle. So I'm actually going to cut it a little bit right now. So I did cut off about two inches of the hair on the bottom. It didn't change the length too much. I still wanted it to be long for now before I cut it later after it gets tangled. I wanna know what you guys think of this wig. What do you think about my thoughts on the wig? How do you think Kay did with this relaunch? So yeah, let me know what all of you think of this wig down in the comments below. How are you feeling about the style, the color? For me, I think this is getting a 10 out of 10 in my book. I absolutely love it. I would definitely purchase um, one of the shorter ones, probably like the blonde bob in the 623 color. I'll link her video to displaying the wigs. I'll link that video in the description box down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, I really wanna hear from y'all. I love when y'all talk to me. And liking and commenting helps out my channel. I'm trying to get that shiny. That's all I have for today. I have a lot more reviews coming up for you all. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah, slow down, baby. Let you know from the gate. I don't go down, lady. I'm on a chick with tip kips and licks a lips. She could be the office type, but like the strip. Girl, you